Stan Jibalisco here. Uh, I have talked about uh, op amp filters, both the low pass and the high pass, and given you generic diagrams of them uh, in videos in the recent past, the past few days. Low pass filter, high pass filter. Uh, here is the basic circuit configuration for a low pass active filter using an operational amplifier or op amp. And here's the basic configuration for a high-pass filter using an op amp. These filters both do not invert the signal input. You apply the signal input to the non-inverting input of the op amp, and you take the output. You have a feedback loop in either case. Uh, in the high-pass filter, it looks a little different than in the low-pass filter, but there are a couple of critical values in both cases. This resistor, R, and this capacitor C. This resistor R and this capacitor C. The values of those components determine how the filter is going to behave in terms of what its cutoff frequency is. And what do I mean by cutoff frequency? Well in the case of a low pass filter you have a response curve that looks something like that. You have a level response up to a certain frequency, a certain a constant output up to a certain frequency, uh, and then the output drops off steadily above that frequency. This frequency right here uh, is not technically the cutoff frequency. What is the cutoff frequency is a frequency right about there, and we might call that frequency F, and it is the frequency at which the output is 3 dB down with respect to the output along this level zone. That frequency right there is called the cutoff frequency. Some engineers call it the corner frequency, which is a little bit misleading because the real corner isn't there. It's a little, little higher up. But the cutoff frequency of an operational amplifier filter depends upon the value of the resistor R and the capacitor C. In general, as the resistance or capacitance go up, the frequency goes down. As the resistance or capacitance go down, the cutoff frequency goes up. And so you can actually tailor your filter to provide whatever cutoff frequency you want. And there is a formula for calculating that, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I would just like to illustrate now the high pass situation. Although you can probably guess what it's going to look like. There you have a certain uh, response, it's level output above a certain point, and then below that point, the output drops steadily off. So as you increase the frequency, the output rises steadily and then levels off. At the point where it's 3 dB down, with respect to the amplitude at this level zone, where it's 3 decibels down, that frequency, F, is the cutoff frequency. So it looks just the same, except the curve is flipped around. And here is the formula for determining that cutoff frequency. The frequency equals 2 pi times the resistance in ohms times the capacitance in farads to the minus 1 power. That means 1 over the quantity 2 pi rc, but I'm using the minus 1 power here for a reason, and that's because my calculator likes that better than trying to uh, divide something uh, with 1 on top and it on the bottom. So here we go. 2 pi times rc. Now let's suppose for a moment that the resistance here is 10k, 10 kilo ohms, and our capacitance is 0.01 microfarads. Here again, 
we could do the same thing 10k 0 0.01 microfarads well 10k is 10 to the fourth ohms so let's just uh, let's uh, oh, uh, let's uh, substitute here the frequency equals 6.28 that's roughly 2 pi times the resistance 10 to the fourth ohms 0 0.001 microfarad is 10 to the minus eighth farad remember that uh, a microfarad is 10 to the minus sixth farad so a hundredth of that is 10 to the minus eighth farads and then you take all of this to the minus one power equals 6.28 10 to the fourth 10 to the minus 8 10 to the minus 4 to the minus 1 power equals 0 0.000628 to the minus 1 power. Yeah, don't you love my handwriting? I'll bet your pharmacist writes better than I do. So if you can't read it, well, at least you'd have heard me talk. So let's do a little calculation. 0 0.000628 to the minus 1. Raise that to the minus 1 power and you get 1,592 hertz. Well, we're only justified in going to three significant figures here. So we can say 1,590 hertz or thereabouts. So that would be the cutoff frequency of either one of these filters if R equals 10K and C equals 0.01 microfarad 1500 Hertz is an audio frequency uh, somewhere where you might hit a key in the upper end of your piano keyboard and come pretty close to 1590 Hertz if you want to increase the frequency uh, you could reduce either the resistance or the capacitance or both if you want to decrease the frequency then you would raise either the resistance or the capacitance or both so you can design your frequency uh, you design your filter now for whatever frequency you want using that formula just remember that R is in ohms F is in Hertz and C is in farads Stan Jabalisco signing off until next time so long